whole language, I think, of higher apprenticeships um, has changed this year. The previous government were, were working towards uh, higher apprenticeships. This government have uh, really taken them off, take, take, um, set them going. Firstly, with the publication of the SACE document in, in January, which for the first time articulated um, standards for frameworks for higher apprenticeships um, at levels four and five. The, the announcement recently for, of a 25 million pound um, fund to develop higher apprenticeships to help the government meet its target of 10,000 in the course of this, this government, so four years. Amazing, where else do you see this government putting that sort of money aside for anything else? Um, apart from twice, um, apart from weekly bin collections, that's the only other thing. <laughs> um, so so uh, it's really central to, to government policy. And so if you, if, you, if you have been or are about to be involved in developing higher education, higher apprenticeships, <coughs> it is, you know, you're on a bit of a crest of the wave at the moment. The SACE document um, does lay out some conditions and we've, we've um, been working uh, with the in the engineering um, sector, we were working on the basis of a foundation degree and a level four MVQ. We've also been working on a, um, a, a higher apprenticeship in business and professional administration in London and we've been working on the basis of a foundation degree and an MVQ4 as well. And we're also working um, on a, a, a higher apprenticeship in sustainable construction or sustainable building. And in that, we're looking at an HNC um, level four MVQ route, as well as developing a foundation degree and an MVQ4 route. So we've got, we got two sort of um, ways of looking at, uh, at that. And I'll, I'll come back to those in a minute um, because there's a little bit more detail I'd like to, to give. But in terms of higher apprenticeships, there are eight sector skills councils currently with uh, higher apprenticeships um, on the framework, uh, in, on, on the website. Um, those already developed. Those, um, those are accounting, business and admin, that's the CFA, contact center operations, engineering technology, food and drink, IT software, web and telecoms, providing financial advice and leadership and management. And the leadership and management one is at level five, and it's the only one at level five. So sector skills councils are, are, are starting the job. Led, Centre led the way, um, e-skills led the way, um, and what is now the Financial Skills Partnership, but it was, uh, the, sorry, no, the accountancy um, Sector Skills Council led the way, um, and others are following suit. I think for anybody developing higher apprenticeships at this moment, really needs to be looking at 2012 um, funding scenario. We had a, in the questions uh, in the last session, we had some discussions about funding scenarios. University of Greenwich is charging £6,000 um, for a foundation degree level four, another 6,000 for the level five, so 12,000 for the whole program. Whether that's done part-time over four years, three years, two years, it's the same overall cost. Same as for an HMD. Um, that, we're, we're looking at the, at, at, at the proposition that uh, on the whole, higher apprentices will apply for student loans cover the cost of that fee. We're looking at the basis that when, when the fees went up, one of the things that also happened was that for the first time, uh, part-time students were able to access loans. Fantastic sort of change in, in uh, the legislation. So whatever we all think, and I probably agree with most of you, about the actual raising of the fees, um, the fact that part-time students can access loans is a, is a great move forward. Now, I think we'll have come up with, it's a uh, wide put funding model up there, up with a number of different ways of this, 
this falling out. The students will be able to access loans. Well, that's a finite thing because it's going to depend on your numbers that you've got uh, as a university or as a college uh, that, that you've got in order to enable that to happen because the government have, you know, have a finite uh, drawbridge on the numbers of students who can uh, access loans. The fact that part-time students accessing loans, if they're apprentices and employed, won't be accessing any other part of the loan except for the fee element is, is, is something which might uh, come into the mix about that, something that Hefke is probably going to have to be thinking about. But we're looking in the higher apprenticeships that we're developing about it being that funding, not SFA funding, and the SFA will fund level fours, they'll fund non-prescribed higher education, so that funding will, 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 will be as it, as it will. And I think where you've got mentions of 50%, 50-50 funding, that probably, that definitely applies to the SFA funded apprenticeships, but um, uh, doesn't apply necessarily to the higher education funded apprenticeships. So I think we're going to end up with a whole variety of different models. We're going to have um, higher apprenticeship apprentices taking out a loan and paying it off in the normal way at the end of it. And the deal for them is they've, they've, they've got a foundation degree at the end of it. They can go on to a higher, uh, uh, to an honours degree and get a university uh, degree uh, through the workplace at a fraction of the cost of doing it full time. I think employers will be looking at this in terms of coming up with some deals with their apprentices. I think some employers might decide that they're going to pay all or part of the fee up front to attract the very best. I think your Airbuses are a bit like that are likely to do that. They might provide a loan. So they might say, right, well, we, we, we want you, we'll take you, we'll give you the loan instead of you having to apply to the government for the loan and tie them in with some sort of retention deal. Or we might have students taking out a loan for the whole fee, and then at the end, on successful completion, the employer agrees to pay off part or all of it over one, two, three years, maybe. So I think we're gonna come up with a lot of different sort of scenarios, and I'll come back to fees and funding right at the end. <coughs> 